I'm Caitlin, and I'm going to show you some of my rainbow bracelets. bracelet. You may not know what rainbow loom is, so I'm going to show you that first. Rainbow loom is this really cool creation where there's tons of different pegs lined up in a row. Pegs can come out, not one at a time, but a row can come out of pegs. So, it's pretty cool. And you take rubber bands, lots of leady beady bitty rubber bands, little tiny rubber bands. Oops. <laughs> and so you take them. And you put them on your um, rainbow loom. And so you get you usually get a lot on. And then you end up using your hook. This is a hook that comes with the rainbow loom. There's different hooks. I have, also I have this hook. I also have this hook. I have other hooks too, but I don't want to show you. Well, I don't need to show you. Um, so you take your hook and... You see how it, it's hookish? <laughs> so you can hook. So you can hook it. You can hook it over. Kind of hook that off. <laughs> so that. And so if you're just starting to do rainbow loom, you want to start with the basics. And the basic is. Ah. The basic is the chain. I call it the chain. Some people call it rings. Some people call it circles. Some people call it simple. I don't know. They call it different things, but I call it the chain. So, because it kind of looks like a chain. You know what I mean? So, you want to start off with that. For a chain, you can do it on your fingers, and you can also do it on the rainbow loom. I prefer on the rainbow loom because sometimes on your fingers, it cuts the circulation off, which is not too good. So... And then, I also have another bracelet that I want to show you. It's a bit more difficult. You know how sometimes you see girls' hairs, they have fishtails? Well, that's what this is, except on rubber bands. So you see fishtails. And see it on your wrist. Cool beans. So you can also make little small ones, like rings. Ooh, like a fishtail ring. And so that's the fishtails. There's another one that's... Where'd it go? Ah. Another one that's really extreme. And it's called the ladder. Because it kind of looks like a ladder. As you can see. And once you're done with the bracelet, with the really tricky part, it's usually not big enough to fit your wrist. So you use the chain on the back to extend it. And it looks really cool on your wrist, which is cool. And then I have another really extreme one, which is called the Starburst. Because it's kind of like bursting stars. I wouldn't see why they call it. And then you have the chain on the back, and then it looks really cool on your wrist. I usually, I have another Starburst. I'm not going to show you it. But it's, um... It's like a 4th of July firework. Starburst, and it's red, white, and blue. Um, and so I wear it on the 4th of July because it's kind of like fireworks and stars. So, okay. So, once you've made a lot of bracelets and you're kind of getting sick of bracelets, you can make creations. Like, I have lots of chains that I've made. Like this one. These are French fries. There's videos to look at this. You just type in Rainbow Loom French Fries or Rainbow Loom Ladybugs. And they come up with tons of these different things. There's this one I made a couple days ago. It was really hard because it was kind of 3D. It's not flat like this. It's 3D. And it's a turtle. I love turtles. I think they're so cute. And turtles. So, it's really cute. Um, those are all the rainbow and bracelets that I have today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you just subscribe and like. And hope to see you again soon. Bye.